It's time for Jasper Active Excel lesson one. We are going to finish up the last two exercises in this huge lesson one that we've been tackling. So here we go. It says working in compatibility mode. This is exercise number nine. All right, so we're going to start by clicking File and saying Open, and we're going to navigate to, I'm just going to double click this PC to bring up the Open dialog box, go to Jasper Active, Resource Files, and I see nothing. So let's go back to Jasper Active and try Starter Files, and there it is, Retirement Planner. Click Open, and here we go. Now it says, click File to ensure the info category is active and it's not so let's go to info and here we're going to select check for issues and then check compatibility and it says oh significant loss of functionality so we are looking at a workbook that was created in 97 to 2003 there's a lot of things that we will lose if we use it so we look through it all notice it explains everything we're just going to say okay and then next in jasper active now we're going to save it in the older format so go to file save a copy and i'm clicking up here so i can navigate to jasper active and we need to save it in the my projects folder and we're going to call it, um, nope, leave the name that it has. We're just going to do save as type and save it as a 97 to 2003 workbook. So that was right here, 97 to two, 2003 workbook. And, oh, call it my retirement planner. So my retirement planner. You can leave that little bit, that file extension, or take it off. I took it off. We'll click Save. And say, yep, we knew that was going to happen. Continue. Yes, I know. I just wrecked it. Nobody can do anything cool with it. All right. Now, uh, select it, and you're going to hit Control-W to close the workbook. And... Go back to File, Open. You're going to browse for it. There it is, My Retirement Planner in My Projects. And click Open. There you go. And it says the workbook name and title bar up here now show compatibility mode. Recognize that. Close the workbook again and don't save any changes. Submit it and get it. All right, let's see if we can cram that last one into this video. So exercise number 10, selecting cells. Please watch close on this. If it's what I remember, uh, some people struggle with it. Here we go. All right, we're gonna start by selecting a, rain, a range of cells in a new workbook. So new blank workbook and select cell A9 and I'm left clicking and holding and drag to C5 like that A9 to C5 now I've let go I can move my mouse around now we're going to select col columns or rows so you select an entire column by clicking on the column header right up here. So when I click on the E at the top of the worksheet, it selects that whole column. You get the entire row by selecting the row header where it's the number. So we're gonna go to row 14. And notice it's all the way across. To get the whole workbook, or excuse me, the whole worksheet, you click in the top left corner where the column and row headers meet and it selects everything. Now, let's get to the hard stuff. 
selecting a range of cells. Now we're going to select B4 to B7. So B4 to B7. Oop, not moving. Click and drag B4 to B7. Now I'm going to hold the control key on the keyboard and select D11 to E18. So D11 to E18, like that. Then with the control key still held down, you're going to come up here to F2 and then move backwards towards D3, like that. Next, now it says use the keyboard to select a range of cells. So go back to Excel, select cell A9. Now let go of your mouse. And what you're going to do is hold the shift key down and use the arrow keys to go to E10. So C5, oh, so A9 to C5. So go over with the arrow and then up with the arrow. There we go. So now we just selected without using a mouse from A9 to C5. Now I'm going to use the arrow keys again without holding anything down. Notice I can just move around the spreadsheet. I'm going to go to cell E10. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key and go to G15. That should be it. We should now be able to click submit and get our 100%. There we go. Should be staring at a badge here, people. Nice. Oh, go get her. Feeling good about that.